Welcome back. Well, sometimes when we're stressed, we turn to snacking for comfort, and the wrong snacks can quickly add up to a lot of empty calories at the end of the day, right? So joining me now is registered dietitian. It's Bonnie Top Dix, and she is here with tips on how to snack better. Good morning to you, Bonnie. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Let's talk about this. How has the current state of snacking changed during the pandemic? I feel like it's so easy just to go grab something out of the cupboard when you're home. It is, it is. And more of us are home and more of us are snacking more. But you know, snacking really goes beyond food. It really has a lot to do with comfort and connection. And a lot of us are actually meeting in the kitchen. So now more than ever, we want to choose snacks that are not only delicious, but also those that are nutritious and good for us. Absolutely. And not all snacks are created equal. We know this to be true. So what should we be looking for when choosing one? Well, you know, we work hard and we multitask. So I like to choose foods that actually work hard and multitask for me too. And I'll give you a perfect example. So only 28 whole natural almonds actually give us six grams of plant protein, three grams of fiber. It's an excellent source of biotin and vitamin E and a good source of magnesium. And you know, it's not only the food that we choose, but it's also the beverages that we drink. And I like beverages with benefits too. So Blue Diamond Almond Breeze Almond Milk provides 50% more calcium than dairy milk. So that's an excellent source of calcium and vitamin E and vitamin D and a good source of vitamin A. And, you know, during the pandemic, we've also seen lots of family members come to our homes that weren't there before. I know I am. Um, So we want foods that could meet all of their palates. So something that is good for a vegetarian diet or lactose-free or gluten-free or sugar-free. And these kinds of foods really can meet everybody's needs. Well, that's what I think is is great. They're easy too. It's portable. You could toss them in a bag or get the individual ones to throw in your purse if you do run somewhere, right? So it's easy. But in terms of our overall health, you you mentioned a lot of benefits to almonds and, and almond milk. What are some of the other benefits to our overall health that we see with something like almonds? Yes, well, just imagine swapping out a sugary snack and putting in something like almonds. We know that science has shown us that almonds may promote heart health. They may help stabilize blood sugar levels, which really helps to control diabetes. And it could also help with managing your weight because it has such a filling, satisfying crunch. And you know what else really helps is when a food tastes good, because nobody likes something that doesn't taste good. So Blue Diamond has a whole array of almonds that you'll actually crave some of these flavors like wasabi and soy or salt and vinegar or spicy dill pickle or even honey roasted. So these are, these are different flavors that we wind up craving. And by craving foods like this, you're actually also getting all of those other benefits that I described, including plant protein. Well, I love the fact that there's all those fun flavors. And I also saw originally there's the kind of the raw and natural. A lot of people are looking for raw nuts these days, especially the almonds. And so I think that's so great because you could add your own sea salt too, or do whatever you want to them. Yeah. And you know, they're really delicious as is. What I, what I love about the raw and natural ones is that they kind of take on the flavors of other foods as well. So when you add them, like when I add them to my banana muffins, You really taste the banana, but with that hefty side of satisfying crunch. And I think that, you know, when I cook, you'll, you'll, if you were here in my kitchen today, you'd open my cabinets and you'd see almonds in all different shapes and forms and sizes. Um, And that's because they're really like chameleons of a dish. They fit into anything, even omelets. I add, I add sliced almonds to my omelets and even to top my meatloaf. Ooh, I like them on a salad too, with like dried cranberries. Oh, yeah. Delicious. So good. Okay. So um, I'm going to give everybody the information, but before we go, just real quick, what is an actual serving size? How much should you eat? Uh, 28 almonds is one ounce. That is a serving size. Um, it's a, it's hard to keep to that, but that's what a serving size is. And for almond breeze, it would be a cup. That's not that bad though. I was thinking you were going to say like six to 10. So I'm good with 28. Thanks for joining us, Bonnie. You're very welcome. And you could go to bluediamond.com or betterthandieting.com for further information. Perfect. Will do. Appreciate it.